G'day guys, Andy Thomas here again from Wolf on the Run. Um, we've got the long weekend coming up again this weekend. Um, so if you look in the last video, I had some new panniers. I had the Givy Outback Trekkers. I've now got to balance them out sort of thing um, because I knew how to load the shad panniers before in my top box. Now I've got one smaller box on one side and a bigger box on the other. So I'm going to have a play with <coughs> what goes in what box. And counterbalance the weight. It's not that critical, but it's just nice to have equal amounts either side and keep trying to keep the heavy stuff down low. So yeah, we'll have a go at that. All right guys, so there's my boxes on the bike. We had a 48 litre that side, 37 litre this side, and the 56 litre top box. Um, I'll leave those in there, it's just a pair of rubber crocs. So uh, there's no weight on them. Um, this here is a little seat to summit seat pad that I'll show you in a moment. Um, so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the tools out of my tool tube. I'll weigh those and then we'll counterbalance off either side. I believe that exhaust can is around about four and a half to five kilos. So obviously that will balance out from one side to the other. So I'll weigh the boxes first, do a bit of filling up. I'm not going to show you me filling them up. I'll just... Um, I'll just weigh them at the end and show you on the scales. All right, guys, so that's everything out of my toolbox, my tool tube. And as you can see on there, that's about 3, 3.375, just under 4 kilos. So that's just in that toolbox. So all that alone counteracts the, just the, the, the exhaust on the other side. Um, so basically we're starting off scratch weight, or should I say about 8 kilos in already. All right, so that's all the tool tube. Just a few bits and pieces, few sockets, um, all my spanners, tire levers, wrenches, bits and pieces. Um, yeah, so I'll keep all those in that tool tube. Um, some chain lube, bit of WD-40, bits and pieces, fuses, um, bits of wire, stuff like that. All right, I'll put those back in. Okay, guys, so what I've done is just rip down on there. Um, my tool tube, my 48 litre pannier, 37 litre pannier, my 56 top box. Um, I've also got some bags that I've got to go on top of the boxes, on top of the panniers. One of them's got all my inner tubes in and the uh, Anderson extension lead and plugs. And the other one's got waterproofs and things like that inside it. So, yeah, we'll still wear those, wear them out. Um, <clears throat> also, if you remember... You guys, I had this semi-inflatable mattress that uh, I used to take with me, um, which is quite a big roll. But what I've done recently is I've gone down to this picnic blanket, um, which is nice fleece lined, and it's also uh, like a vinyl bat. So that doubles over. Um, it's half the size, as you can see. <coughs> that goes in my pannier. So I double that over, and that gives me R value on top of my bed. I've kept my bed. I had some, a few comments on that regarding um, some guys were saying, blooming hell, I'm sitting drinking whiskey by the time you've sat that, set that bed up. Other guys saying, um, I'm asleep in my hammock by the time you've got that bed set up, which is great. It's nice to see your comments. Um, I do like that bed and uh, yeah, it does take a little bit longer, but you know what? It's comfortable. All right, guys, so in this big pan of this side, I've got uh, my Ellenox chair, my sleeping bag liner, that blanket I just spoke about, my sleeping bag, my bed, um, the poles to my tent, I think, are at the bottom of there, and then this box taped to the top, taped to the top of there is um, gloves, spare gloves. If I can get into them, it's easier. Um, I keep a um, thick pair in there, I keep uh, also a pair of latex gloves in there and a thin pair of leather gloves. If it's absolutely hammering down a rain, I'll put those thin gloves on with those underneath. Your hands stay um, pretty dry, pretty warm, so yeah, that's the idea of that. Alright, in the top of there, that bag's empty, that will be for my clothes. Um, so fishing rod, tent, landing net, fishing gear, uh, boots, that sort of thing in there. In this one is all my kitchen gear, 
um, kitchen facilities. That one there will be for my food, which will also go down in there. Um, so yeah, so I'll shut these up. We'll get them over. I'm not so much concerned, concerned about the back one. I will weigh it just out of curiosity, being top end heavy. Um, and we'll weigh this one at the side here. And then I'll put the bags on top. These are the bags that I'll show you the bags. Um, so I've got one that will just strap on top of there like so. Um, that's got the inner tubes. Oh, sorry, that one's got the wet gear in there. This one's got spare inner tubes and um, Anderson plugs and things like that. So I'll work out which one will go what side, depending on which one's heavier, which one will balance out. All right, I'll get those on the scales. All right, guys, so I've got the big one on the scales, and that's showing uh, 14 kilos, 13 and a half, perhaps. I'll write that down as 14. Um, that's the big one. So on that side there, we've got 4 and 14 so far. That's on the right-hand side of the bike. Um, I'll get the next one up. All right, guys, so this is the 37-litre one. And that is saying 12, 12 kilos plus, as I said, we've got the exhaust on that side. So that one is 12 kilos. All right, next. All right, guys, this is my top box. I have got a bag that goes on the top of there and these straps, but I don't need it at the moment. Um, what's it saying? 13. 13 and a half, we'll say 13 and a half, all right. All right guys, so these are the bags. As I said, this is my waterproofs and it's also got my bike cover in there. It's not that heavy, but it's actually, it's actually two kilos, that's all it is. All right, so we'll decide which side that goes on in a moment. This one with all the, the inner tubes, Anderson extension lugs, bits and pieces um, yeah the compressors in my front bags so I'm not too worried about those up there so this one what's that say that's three kilos three kilos what was the other one two all right, I'll write that down. So uh, the inner tube bag is three kilos and the waterproof bag is two kilos. All right, we'll do our maths and weigh that out. Bear in mind, I have got um, got my food to go in there. So that's gonna be probably three or four kilos um, in that one. Uh, in the top box, that's only 13 and a half, including the box. I mean, you're allowed to get 10 kilos in there. Um, so with my clothes, my clothes won't weigh that much, probably yeah, three or four kilos. So I'll put plus four there, and I'll put plus four there to be on the safe side. All right, guys, so I've done the maths. And if I put the inner, inner tube bag, which is three kilos, on top of my 48 litre one, and I put the other bag on top of the 37 litre one, I end up with 22 kilos on the 37 litre side and I end up with 21 kilos on the 48 litre side. So that's near enough balance. I say that was me allowing four kilos um, on that side for my food. Um, so yeah, if I put a little bit more in, I'll be a little bit off balance, so I can't eat that much. <laughs> um, my water, I've got my Camelback, plus I've got the bottles on the front, which is another one and a half litres. Um, so yeah, we're pretty balanced. We're pretty balanced. I can always like say put a bit more into this side here if I need to. There's room in there to get a little bit of extra weight, a kilo or so, just to balance it out. But I'm pretty happy with that. As I say, that's the first time I've actually packed them. Um, wasn't sure how it was gonna work. Um, still got plenty of room, as you can see inside. Um, room in the lids, yeah, plenty to go. Um, as I worked out, total kilos was 57.5 kilos. That was what I was carrying in the top box and those two panniers and on top of the panniers which is pretty good um, considering the wife weighs about 67 um, she's not coming with me so yeah it's, it's lighter and it's easier to take the camping gear don't moan at you no shouldn't say that she watches my videos <laughs> um, 
So yeah, there you go guys. Um, Alright, I'll put the bags on top and I'll give you a walk around the bike. Alright guys, so there we are, all packed up. That's the bags I was on about to you. That extra kilo I was on about on this side, if I'm going to take my camera gear with me to do a bit of filming. I'll put my tripod that side, so that'll work well. The other bag over that side. I've got my Givy tank bag there. Um, as I say, these are my water bottle carriers. Um, there's a water bottle missing off there. Inside there, I've got first aid kits. Um, I keep a light pair of gloves also in the tank bag. And I'll start off with my Alpine gloves, um, which are just basically ski gloves or like um, snowmobile gloves. They're a thermal insulating one because it does plumbly start off cold in the morning, probably about minus two as we go over the north south divide. These are the bottles. Um, I'll say I'll carry about a, a litre and a half of water, uh, three quarters of a litre either side on there. And so I've got my camel bag on the back. In there, punch repair kit, um, compressor. Um, and the bag that side so there we go guys the other thing I was going to show you was um, it's an idea I've come up with um, I'm sure you've all seen the hair hawks which is the seat um, it's a blow-up seat that goes on here I've stripped this one down myself I've repadded that with the foam memory foam and gel I say memory foam it's the only memory foam and now I think it's got amnesia which is, uh, but it's pretty comfortable, but like the other day we was in the saddle for about oh, five hours and it started to tell. But um, I'll show you what I've come up with, I'll un unfold this and show you. Alright guys, so this is the actual thing, it's a self-inflating um, cedar summit, it's a hiking seat pad, um, you can put air into it. Let's just blow that up. As I say, you guys, you've all seen the, the, the Air Hawk seats. They're about $250. This is $30. As I say, if you want to rest, you just get it out your bag, throw it on the side. You can have a sit down while you boil a kettle rather than unpacking. Just gives you that bit of comfort to sit on. And I'm also working on a way to hold it on the seat. Um, I think I've just ordered one of the seat nets, which is just like um, a membrane that goes over it just to keep air circulation through. And I'm trying to work on whether I can just feed that underneath there and then that gives me like an air seat on top it's only about 25 30 mil and on the under Africa twin we can drop this seat down by 20 I normally have it raised up but I can work if I'm going on long trips and I'm hoping that will eliminate some of the numbness in the back and the um, in your glutes your glute do they call them your glutes? Your backside anyway. Um, I suffer from a bad back anyway, um, so it don't help with the pressure and bouncing up and down on a solid seat. So I'm hoping five or six hours in the saddle, that might be a, an answer that I'm looking for. But keep tuned on that one, I'll let you know. All right guys, that's the bike. And we're ready to go. All right guys, there we go. All packed up already. I'm not going till next weekend. It's uh, it's Saturday now. It's Friday night next week. We'll be setting off, um, or even Saturday morning. But I'll do a video on that. I don't know if you guys watched a um, four-day trip motorcycle camping trip in the wood in the bush. Um, it's pretty much the same as that one. But I'll try and get some more footage, some better footage um, regarding our antics on the campsite. And hopefully this time Trevor won't really lose his fishing rod. <laughs> but you never know. Alright guys, thanks for watching, fantastic.